In this video, you're gonna learn how to replace this loading screen with this. So, I already have created a blank Blazor WebAssembly project. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is locate where the loading screen is actually stored. Let's go to the root directory and open up the index.html file. You may already have noticed a familiar keyword. The loading is stored inside the element right here with the app ID. This is also the place where the Blazor framework will load your application. While it hasn't yet loaded, it will display whatever is already present. And once it has, it will erase everything and render your app. So let's make a quick, simple loading screen using Bootstrap. In interest of time, I already prepared the code sample, which I'll just quickly explain to you. The loading screen I made consists of three elements. An animated spinner, a label, and a container which positions them in the center and adds a small gap in between. You can now save the project, but before running it, for testing purposes, comment out the following line. This will prevent the Blazor framework from loading, so that we can properly examine the loader first. Now let's run the project. As you can see, instead of the mundane piece of text, you now have a custom loading screen. Now go back to the project, uncomment the line you commented out, run the project again, and now it should load as usual, but with your own custom loader. That's it for now. Feel free to leave a like, and have a nice day.